Hello, my name is Dr. Hillel Mazansky and my areas of expertise encompass medical hypnosis, guided visualization, nutrition and exercise. The mind causes all one's physical and psychological ailments. If the mind causes, which it does, the mind helps heal or treat using the aforementioned four methods that are, encompass my uh, speciality. Today's health tip is titled 16 ways to help treat chronic pain. First of all, when one has chronic ongoing back pain, uh, sleep comes with difficulty. It is better to try and sleep on your side rather than your back with your knees flexed. Lying on the back itself can sometimes aggravate the pain. Oftentimes a vicious cycle develops in as much as the more pain you have, the difficulty you have in sleeping. And sleep is mandatory to help alleviate the pain. Poor posture can also aggravate the pain in the back. So the best way that I recommend and most researchers recommend is that you sit erect in a chair with your shoulders relaxed, oftentimes putting a pillow behind your back uh, or a rolled up towel can often help. If you sit for a long time for a long time at the computer or at your desk, try and stand up every hour for about five or ten minutes and stretch the back, move it in all directions, and this helps with the blood flow. For acute back pain, oftentimes over-the-counter medication can help, such as acetaminophen or, ty acetaminophen or Tylenol, or the so-called NSAIDs, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory uh, uh, drugs. But uh, these tend to have side effects. Those are called uh, in the United States Aleve and Ibuprofen or Motrin. Some of them have side effects and before embarking on taking these medications you should speak to your doctor first. Some people need stronger medication for their back pain such as opioids and prescription strength NSAIDs. The problem with these uh, strong opioid medications is that they have many side effects and they can become addictive. So as a last resort one should not try uh, opioids unless it's absolutely necessary and everything else has been tried and we will describe the other things shortly. Antidepressant medication has been found to be a benefit in patients with chronic back pain in as much as with chronic pain people tend to get depressed and the more depressed they become the more the pain is aggravated, so it's a vicious cycle. Researchers have found that just using small doses of most of the antidepressants are extremely beneficial for uh, chronic back pain and other pains. Consulting with a physical therapist may be extremely beneficial because they help uh, with muscle strengthening and muscle stretching exercises of your back. The best muscle group to help improve chronic back pain is to strengthen your core muscles, those muscles around the abdomen and pelvic area. And physical therapists are generally adequately trained to instruct you in using this method. If you have chronic back pain, lying in bed is not a good idea. One to two days of rest is all that's indicated because 
Lying in bed aggravates the swelling of all the tissues in the back, the ligaments and the joints. So please try and move and do not lie in bed for any prolonged period of time as all you're doing is you're aggravating the pain and that is contraindicated. For the use of uh, acute back pain, ice is usually indicated and you can do that for about 20 minutes. For chronic ongoing pain, heat is indicated because heat increases the flow, uh, dilates the blood vessels and increases the flow uh, to the back which is beneficial. Sometimes for chronic back pain you can use alternating ice and heat for about 20 minutes every hour and that often helps relieve the pain as does taking hot showers and uh, warm baths. Research has shown that massage can help but then it should be done at weekly intervals for about 10 to 12 weeks as this tends to help release the spasm in the back. For chronic unrelenting uh, back pain there is a method called TENS, T-N-S. This is a small device that has four pads that are attached to the back of the painful areas and a little box sends electrical stimulation to the nerves which then quieten the pain. This is a non-toxic method and it oftentimes helps and relieves the pain. Doing back yoga, specifically back yoga, can be extremely beneficial. But before you embark on the yoga, you must speak to your instructor that they be very careful with the movements that you undergo because you must not do anything that's going to aggravate the pain. And a competent yoga instructor can work wonders for your back. Biofeedback is another good method to help the pain. Electrodes attached to the brain and using deep exercise, deep breathing exercises, your respiration rate and your pulse rate is monitored and this helps relieve and control pain. If the pain is very severe, Cortisone or steroid injections can be used into the back. Usually a maximum of three are done. And this is usually done by a special pain specialist. Back surgery should be as a last resort. As uh, oftentimes back surgery tends to fail. However, if you have a large herniated disc which is pressing on your nerves or the nerve of the leg with pain going down the leg having a competent back surgeon can oftentimes relieve the pain. I am not however in favor of spinal fusions because the failure rate is very high and it should not be undertaken unless there is absolutely no other choice. Last but certainly not least Medical hypnotherapy can be of great benefit to you. It is a non-toxic method and it can work wonders in relieving the pain, relaxing the stress and anxiety and relaxing you when you go to sleep. You listen to the hypnosis video twice a day and you'll be empowered to help heal your back pain. On my website, drmedicalhypnosis.com, drmedicalhypnosis.com, is a hypnosis video for your consideration with regard to chronic neck and back pain. My new book titled Empower Yourself with Medical Hypnosis is available on Amazon.com. 
and reading the book will allow you and empower you to live a longer, happier, healthier life. My name is Dr. Hilo Mazansky and I thank you for listening to this health tip.